everybody can hear me am i audible yeah. yes yeah. yes yes so any doubt related to the previous session i hope all of you you are practicing the card chanting which gonna prepare you for today meditation of card chanting now let's start the session come into the sitting posture keep your back and neck straight aligned bring the alignment to your back to your neck to your sh shoulder completely relaxed palm resting on the knee and just for a few seconds go into your posture be there make sure you require the sitting posture the asan it could can be a sukhasan padmasan sridhasan vajrasan whatever posture you choose whichever posture you have chosen make sure you comfortably sitting in that now <clears throat> once you are comfortably sit with a lot of spine try to align with your elbow shoulder relax palm upward facing resting on the knee slightly folded chin parallel to the ground now bring your awareness towards the natural breath the breath which is going in and coming out observe the observe the way it is going in and coming out the natural flow breath it will connect your mind with the body the moment you are practicing observing the natural breath now take a deep through long slow inhalation deep through long slow exhalation inhale and i feel deeply slowly with a tent of mind inhale and i feel
Now prepare yourself for the three time I'm chanting along the Shanti. Inhale for the Om. Feel the vibration and sensation. Drawing the both thumbs. Wrap your thumbs. Place on your eyes. Very slowly while blinking, looking at your palms. Gently open up your eyes with a great smile. Om Shanti to all. So in previous session, we discussed about Dhaka chanting. We discuss about the prana, how this prana is the sound of the God. This is the sound of the creation, sound of the change of the surrounding. That's why it plays a very important role when you're chanting. The um. So there's a many variation we are learning of um chanting. So first variation is a car chanting. Today we're gonna learn the car chanting. Now another fact of the chanting, the pronunciation. A car by chanting the car you get the materialistic peace. You get the physical fitness. So the meaning of our uh, um today we're gonna discuss about it. These three flavors which present the meaning, there's a certain symbolical meaning of Brenna. And we also talked about why we choosing the um come um, when we compare this um chanting to the rest of the chanting. Like chanting the mantra, why pranav become supreme chanting? Because when you're chanting the pranav, when you're chanting, pronouncing a u ma, observe the movement of the tongue. You make the sound a uh, u. Mm. You can try also. You can check the movement of your tongue. The tongue, how's your tongue? Uh, oh, mm. The tongue is not articulating. The tongue is not moving when you pronouncing this face label. So it means you get the much relaxation. You can prolong the chanting because there is no tired. You, you 
tongue get tired because there is articulation of chanting the mantra. Right? The tongue is moving. When tongue is moving, right now I'm I'm giving the lecture to you. My tongue is moving in all corners of my mouth. So it gives me tiredness. After one hour I will be tired. Two hours I will be tired. But it's not gonna happen with your when you're chanting the on. Because tongue is relaxed, completely relaxed. You can chant as long as you want. That's why pranav meditation becomes the same from the rest of the chanting. So pranav meditation is supreme because of the tongue is relaxed, not moving much. So one benefit you can you know, chant as long as you can. First benefit of this. Second, by chanting our Uma, you're working on the three level of your life. One is a metallistic peace you will get. Materialistic peace you will get by chanting our cars, our sound, when you create the our sound, physical fitness comes to you. Physical balance. Physical health you will achieve. When you chant Ukka chanting, which is today we're going to learn, by chanting the Ukka, making the O the sound, you get the mental health, psychological health, psychological peace. When you chant Ma, this sound you pronounce, you get spiritual health. You enter into the spirituality. Ma, Makka chanting, which we call, which we're going to learn tomorrow sessions. So Makka chanting gives you the spiritual health, spiritual fitness, spiritually you are balanced. When all three you are pronouncing together, all together, you get the balance of all three. You get the balance of all three when you be chant uh, all together. But right now we're learning separately because we have to work on the vibration also. Our sound, when you're pronouncing, you feel the sound is coming from your abdominal region. Vibration is happening around your abdominal region. When you chant Ukkar for mental peace, when you chant Ukkar, you get the vibration in your above your abdominal region, chest area, towards the throat. This area, the vibration you're going to face, feel by chanting the card. Then, ma chanting, when you do the ma card chanting, mm, pronouncing the ma sound with closing mouth. The vibration you're going to feel above from the throat to the top of the head. These area you feel the vibration. So in order to feel the vibration in one, one part of the body, that's why we are doing separately, Akkar, Rukkar, Makka. And also, whatever you want the benefit, you want physiological, psychological, or the spirituological benefit, you can chant accordingly. That is your intention. Or you can chant all together. But 
initially you have to know how you're gonna chant ah, uh, how you're gonna chant u, how you're gonna chant ma. That's very much important. So when you're gonna introduce this meditation to your student, make sure first you have to work on the pronunciation because pronunciation, as I already explained to you in previous class, is very important. Meaning, maybe you don't know, that's okay. Don't worry about the meaning. But pronunciation is yes, very much important because pronunciation is related to the sound. It creates the sound. Sound creates the vibration. Vibration related to the wave and waves give you the sensation. So particular types of sensation and vibration we need to create and that's how we require the correct pronunciation. So this much you understood. Now other meanings are associated with also with the O. It's related to the God, the energy. Our sound, the R label, is related to the creation, the God of the creation, the God Brahma, the energy which creating the universe. We have given the name to that energy that is the Brahma. God Brahma, Lord Brahma. In yoga, you heard these three days Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, Shiv, Mahesh, also called Shiv. So, one energy which creating the world, that is A. One energy which sustaining the world, which developing, which flourishing the world, this whole cosmos, that is a Vishnu, the God Vishnu. Preservance, the energy which preserving the world, that is a God Vishnu. The third energy, the Mahesh, the Shiv, the Lord Shiv, the Adina. The energy which changed the world, ending the old thing and making, giving the space to the new things. That is the Shiv. The God of the destruction, but God of the detachment, the God of the spirituality, that is a shiv. Don't think that destruction is bad. Destruction gives the space to the new things. The beginning is important, but the end, the culmination is also very much important. in order to maintain the cycle of the life. So these three energies are representing the Brahma, O representing the Vishnu, Ma representing the Shiv, spiritual, spirituality. So that's why many spiritual people, they worship the Lord worship. Those who are following the path of the yoga, they worship the and the culmination. Because they know that everything is gonna be and. So they accept the reality and they worship the Lordship. So these are the two meanings along with the benefit I explain of the arm chanting, the pronunciation. Any doubt is here. Yeah. In order to understand the symbolical meaning of the pronoun.
Any questions? Okay, very good. Everybody understood. So now today we're gonna learn the Ukka chanting. Ukka chanting. Slightly the mouth open. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, like like how you make the pouch, right? So ooh, this sound you wanna pronounce. Ooh, but again, the sound coming from your throat. The tongue is completely relaxed when you are pronouncing the sound. Tongue should be relaxed. Mouth is relaxed. And sound coming from your front, your throat area. You feel little vibration there in your throat area. The mind would be focused on your above the abdominal region chest area, the thoracic region. When you are stating the sound of who, chanting the sound who, so prepare yourself. Make sure, don't make it long, short, just follow the natural way, the way you want to chant. It depends person to person. Tuning happens automatically. When we, you know, many people, they chant all together, but it required many, many, many months of the practice to chant with togetherness in the group. Because tuning should not come with the pressure. If you are putting the pressure in chanting, the pranav meditation, you lose the essence. You lost the essence. You lost the benefits. So don't give any pressure, any tension in order to tune your chanting with the other person. But it's good in the, you know, when we're doing the online session. But when we teaching offline session, that that time is difficult. People are pushing themselves to tune with me or with each other. That's how they're doing the wrong thing. Your body is not meant in initial level for tuning. Tuning comes automatically, naturally to you, without any force. When you keep chanting for longer period of time, for longer days, automatically you are tuned with the other. But initial level, don't focus on the tuning. Focus on the pronunciation and the vibration. So instruction is clear to everyone. Yes? Any doubt in the instruction? So let's start the practice. Come into the sitting posture, your comfortable posture. Keep your back not straight, aligned, relaxed. Go merge yourself into your asan. Your posture. Now bring your awareness towards your natural breath. How the bed going in and coming out of the
Now, take a deep, prolonged, slow inhalation. Deep, prolonged, slow exhalation for a few seconds. It will give you the energy for maintaining and chanting the old sound. Now, whenever you're ready, start chanting O. Make sure your body remains calm, relaxed, tongue, face, muscles completely relaxed. Oh. 
very slowly. Go into the silence. Complete your chanting and go into the silence. But keep chanting in your, within your mind. Feel the vibration in your thoracic region. But don't ch chant loud, but vibration and chanting happening within your mind. If your mind lost in the thought, come back to your vibration. Do not struggle with your mind. Just Feel the vibration of O chanting, Uka chanting. Now very slowly, bring your awareness towards your natural breath. Observe your natural pure breath. How the natural breath is going in and coming out.
Now, take a deep, prolonged, slow inhalation, deep, prolonged, slow exhalation. Inhale and exhale. Now, take a deep breath for the OM. We're going to end the session with three times OM along with Shanti. So take a deep breath. Inhale for the OM.
Feel the vibration and sensation. Join your both palms. Drop your palms. Place on your eyes. Really slowly while thinking, looking at your palm. Gently open up your eyes. Om Shanti. So any doubts, any difficulties related to the today's session? Okay, no doubts. No. Okay, good. So keep practicing the Sukar chanting and tomorrow we're gonna learn the Makar chanting, the another variation of the um and gradually you're gonna feel the vibration in all parts of your body. Don't worry if initial level you don't feel the vibration, but keep chanting. More you practice, more you go into the deeper level of this. Akkar, Ukkar and Makkar chanting. Okay? So keep enjoying your rest of the day. Keep practicing. More you practice, more you learn, more you understand. So keep motivating yourself. Determine. Mangal Ho. Bless you guys. Be happy. Om Shanti. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.